Well, hello, everybody. How you all doing? My name is Michael Martinez. I'm with the Livestream Revolution, and I created this whole movement and my the love of work that I do to share with all of you wonderful souls who are um, live streaming. And specifically for those of you who are musicians, I want to share some great information with you. The past year, I've been live streaming, and I've been able to reconnect my friends, my fans, and my family, all while going live, and I'm getting great engagement from new people who are new to my music, and also because of that, the music is getting out there, and I'm making a profit where there's literally no profit to be made right now. So as you see here, I got all kinds of stuff going on. Um, I do have a multi-camera setup. If you're interested in that, I'm using Switcher Studio, which is multi-streaming using your iOS devices. But more importantly today, I wanted to focus on how to use budget gear to get great audio in your live streams. So for those of you who are musicians, or even better, piano players just like me, I got my Yamaha C7, and I have two MXL 990s. And these are those two mics right there. And I'm using my 15-year-old mixer board, and it still works. And I'm able to bring audio USB out from the mixer via into my iPad with an adapter. It's a super simple setup, and it doesn't cost anything. You see the two MXL microphones. You could get a pair of these on Amazon for about 150 bucks. It's basically nothing. And then if you already have microphone stands and an old mixer board like I do from your when you used to gig, right? <laughs> Hopefully we'll get back to gigging soon, you guys. You already have over half of it. So basically, all you really need is the know-how and how to hook this stuff up and how to make it work. It's very, very simple. Let's take a look at the mixer board. Let's see what I have in here. And let's take a look. Okay. We have my mixer board. And I have three microphones. Let me show you how this works. So channel one and two are just going for the MXL mic. So that's the piano, the stereo mic. And then I have my talking mic. This is a cheap PG Shure 58. Nothing special. It just gets the job done. And that's it. So I'm getting the audio out from this mixer board. It has a USB connector in back, and it's going into my iPad. Now I have a little video I could show you how that works. So this is what you have. You could use an adapter like this, which will allow you to bring a USB audio and an internet connection, and you could charge your devices at the same time. So I'm plugging in a USB cable right into the adapter. Now I'm plugging the adapter either into my iPad or my iPhone, where whatever device I'm using to stream, and I'm using a USB printer cable. Take note, the square end tip on the USB cable itself. That's what most devices are going to use uh, to connect your mixer board. So that is um, one example, and that's how you do it. It's very simple. So now another important note is how do you monitor this audio? More specifically, how do you know if everything sounds OK in your live stream? Well, this is a very fun and simple solution. Let's take a look. I'm monitoring the whole live stream on my iPhone, OK? Now, Facebook Live has a delay, about a 20-second delay. What I could do is I could put some earbuds on, and I could play a little bit, and I could see how it sounds. I'm going to have to play and then wait 15 to 20 seconds to hear it back. Now, keep in mind, I could do this on a test stream, so I could actually dial in all my settings before I even go live. But for the sake of this demonstration, let's test it out now. I'm going to put some head earbuds in this, and I'm going to listen back. And then 
let me know how it sounds. And then together we could adjust the best settings for this live stream. Okay, that's another pro tip for you there. <laughs> now you put these on, all right? And then you turn the volume up on your iPhone. Okay, I just heard what I was saying and that was very funny and embarrassing about my headphones being tight. But I'm taking a, qual a quality listen to what my speaking mic sounds like. Okay, that's good. So take notice of what the mixer board settings look like. Okay, so I'm channel three right here is my microphone. And you see when I'm talking, most everything is hovering around zero dB on my mixer board. See the zero indicates unity gain. This is the optimal operating level for analog gear. If your audio is hovering around zero, that means you have a good signal. So there's not really much I could do to adjust this. I have my gain, right? Now let's see if we could dial everything in correctly. I'll show you how to properly gain stage. It's super easy. All right, you're not gonna be able to hear me for a little bit, but I'm gonna slowly turn up the settings and we're gonna dial in our optimal levels. Take notice that this is where you should be looking. I want my average volume level to be zero. So here we go. I'm gonna turn the gain down and the fader down. Testing, testing. Hey, one, two, three. Well, what do you know? Um, we got some great signal. This is usable. All right. So I have meters in my live stream audio inter platform here on my iPad, and I'm hitting zero and slightly going into the yellow, which is perfectly fine. You're going to have to find the most optimal settings with your mixer board so sometimes what you may see on your mixer may not match what your live stream audio is so that's why you always have to do this simple test like i'm doing right now it may be too low or too loud so always always do this either in a, a other live stream a test live stream or before so i'm listening to this right now so it sounds really good so we could say that this microphone is ready, it's rocking, it sounds great. Now what about the piano? Do we have optimal levels for the piano? Okay, now I'm gonna play a little bit and then I'm gonna show you the camera angle of this and then we're gonna see and then we're gonna listen, we're gonna get this out going, okay. quickly listen back to the live stream. If you have a question about the technology that you're viewing right now or any anything of any nature with live streaming audio, if you're a musician, uh, ask me a question and I'd be happy to answer it. So um, let me play a little bit and I'll demonstrate more and then I'll answer some questions if there's any. Um, 
I'd be happy to start um, troubleshooting along with you during this wonderful morning. Okay. All right. All right. Well, that was the piano, you guys, and I hope you enjoyed that. Just to take note, I was using two MXL 990s. Do you know how much those microphones retail for? Any guesses? I mean, I'm watching the comments. <laughs> All right. Only 150 bucks for a pair. They come with the shock mount and the cable. You don't have to spend thousands of dollars on crazy microphones and gear to get this sound. All right. I'm demonstrating that you could properly get live stream audio with the gear you already have and budget gear. So uh, that's what I wanted to show you with that little demonstration of the piano. And as we already went through the gain staging, I'll explain a little bit. But if you're interested on t what to do, how to connect um, your mixer board to your smartphone with adapters. I've done all this. I've laid it out perfectly in a wonderful tutorial. All you have to do is uh, click on the link in this description or below and let's get in touch and I'll send you that free tutorial video along with some great uh, information that I've uh, garnered in this past year on how to get successful live streams and to engage with your followers and actually to make a living at it. And this is a reality that I'm experiencing right now to actually get more connected with the people who want to listen to my music 
And you know what? It's made a game changer in my life because now I'm motivated to work on music even more and to give more to you wonderful guys who are who are supporting me on Patreon and all my friends and family and fans. It's strengthening my commitment to you. I want to do this for the rest of my life and to make engaging music. So what live streams allow musicians to do is to properly engage with their fan base and actually have a sustaining career to support the people that love your music. This is a reality in 2021. Even though things are not happening right now, gig-wise, for a lot of people, you could do this in the comfort of your own home. So let me help you. Um, click the link in this description to, to get a great tutorial video I've made out of the wonderful passion and the many hours I've um, troubleshooted <laughs> with my gear. I want to share this information with all of you at no cost. And that's my mission. Because we are all one. We are one musician, right? We're not small entities <laughs> in this vast universe trying to make it. We'd all evaporate very quickly if that were true. We need to stick together. We need to share valuable information and do this together. Folks, this is the live stream revolution. Let's take some questions and comments. <laughs> Kevin, what's up? Thank you so much. Kevin, uh, Kevin Proctor is a great uh, musician and live stream producer and uh, audio engineer in the area where I live here in the Monterey Peninsula of the Central Coast. He has a wonderful uh, showcase here and now that supports local musicians. He has a killer live stream. You should check it out. Oh my goodness. Kevin, thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, you're an inspiration and you're inspiring me to keep up with the, the technology here. <laughs> All right. Shout outs to Kevin Proctor. Check him out. Okay. CC Jasper, you have a question. Does Streamlabs work alongside with Switcher? We use Switcher and go live uh, straight to Facebook. Yes. Okay, Streamlabs is a very simple option. You're using, um, what you could do is connect directly to the Facebook app through Streamlabs and you could go live. The only reason why I use it is because it allows me to get audio into my smartphone to live stream. So I have pro audio like you're just hearing now. The only reason I'm doing that is because there's no cost. It's free. With Switcher Studio, what you're using, CC, is a wonderful program. I'm using it. And I'm actually made the conscious decision to get the annual plan because it works so well. It's easy to set up. It has great fixture, fixtures like automated switching. <laughs> I don't even need to click on the iPad if I need to. This has the best technology in it. I've invested in it because I'm making the investment back with, with my wonderful fans who support me in the live stream. So um, for those of you who already make the jump, switch your studio. Check it out. But if you're just trying this thing out for the first time, this whole live streaming stuff, go with Streamlabs. It won't cost you anything. And you could get great audio. So that's what I'm suggesting. The only reason why I um, stress great audio with the live streams is it's it's statistically proven to keep your viewers tuned in longer all right you want to have you want to re represent yourself well during these times so l great audio is a the one key component into having a successful live stream so that's uh, my suggestion to you cc um there's some similar differences with Streamlabs and switcher but Really, it all boils down to what you're trying to do, and Switcher Studio has, I believe, hands down the best functionality. You know, I could play videos in here. I could do lower thirds. I could do automated switching. It's, it's the latest and greatest technology, so I'm glad you're using Switcher, CC, and I hope I answered your question. Hey, Alberto, what's up? Let me know if you have a question. So um, let's, let's review a little thing here. <clears throat> You're probably wondering why I have earbuds in my ears. This is because when you're live streaming, you need to figure out how it sounds on the live stream. So here's a little trick. Get an old device like an iPod or an old iPhone, turn on the Facebook app, and then listen to while you're going live. I'm going to do it right now. 
it sounds perfectly fine. So what you could do is you can monitor your audio beforehand or during the live stream, and it's a perfect way to know what the heck is going on and how things sound. <laughs> It's simple, guys. And look, I'm using the mixer board. This is a 15-year-old mixer, so all the sounds you hear coming out of it, channel 1 and 2 is the keyboard, channel 3 is the mic I'm talking into. Guess what? It's another budget mic. Can you guess what it is? It's a Shure PG58, only $40 mic, and I'm using it, and it sounds fine. And guess what? I got two MXL 990s on the piano. Only 150 bucks for a pair. Can you believe it? I mean, this is budget audio gear, and I'm going live, and I'm having a ball. I didn't even have to spend a penny. <laughs> so you see where I'm going this. So um, <clears throat> this, is, this is the way to go. <clears throat> so with the mixer board... I have channels one and two and three. One and two are the piano. You see, all you have to know with your live stream audio is to have good uh, gain staging, you want your average volume level to hover at zero dB, which in the analog world is unity gain. And that's the optimal operation for audio and analog gear is zero dB. So if I'm hovering around here at zero, which I'm pointing to right now, my audio is fine. And if you stay in that level, you won't experience distortion in your live stream audio. So that is my trick there. So let's do a little test. Let me play a little bit, bit of piano. And then you listen. And then we're gonna, I'll listen back real quickly on the phone. And then you tell me how it sounds. Also, um, let me know if you have any questions or comments I'd, I'd love to play. Uh, after I play, I'll answer some questions. So let me play a little bit. Little bit. <laughs> Let's see how these two budget microphones, MXL 990s, sound on a Yamaha C7 on a 15-year-old mixer board. <laughs> okay, here we go. You ready? Three, two, one. Here I go. I'm listening back real quickly. Yeah, that sounds really good. Not bad. So my levels were good. As you could see, everything was hovering around zero dB. I did not distort my audio. Um, it, w it was good. So that's the easiest way how to do it. Um, and let's take a look at a little video I made on what adapter you could use to get the audio, USB audio from this mixer board into your smartphone. So I'm using something like this. This is a three-in-one adapter, lightning, USB to lightning. You see how it has the USB and then an ethernet port. So you could get hardwired ethernet connection 
and USB audio, and you could charge your device at the same time. Isn't that cool, guys? And then I'm plugging it right into my iPad or my iPhone, whatever I'm using to, to stream. So, and then keep in mind, it's a USB printer cable, so you have to get the one that has a square end. And that is how um, I'm getting audio into my live stream. So that's just a small little video on that. Um, yeah, guys, thank you so much. <clears throat> if you want a more in-depth um, explanation on all of this, I made a wonderful tutorial video to check out. If you click the link in this description or below, um, send me your best email. We could get in touch, and you'll get my tutorial video on explaining all of this how to set up stream labs on your smartphone to go live to bring in great audio. It's all there for you. So my gift to you, let's keep in touch. Um, I think uh, we have one question. <laughs> Alberto says, can you do the same video on Spanish? Oh man, I wish I, I wish I could speak Spanish, but my dad didn't teach me. <laughs> so maybe someday. <laughs> well, thank you so much. Um, I always love questions if there's... Um, any any questions? Oh, hey, Joe. Joe Yamada, what's up? Joe is a great pianist. Um, check him out, Joe Yamada. Uh, we got some wonderful Whisperings artists tuning in, so I'm, I'm glad you're here. So yeah, just in my little corner of the live streaming world and audio. So uh, thank you so much. You've been a wonderful audience. Uh, I hope this helps. Well, should I stick around a little bit longer? Uh, <laughs> My throat tends to get dry when I talk so much like this. But let me keep playing for you guys who are uh, interested uh, in my setup. It's an MX two MXL 990s. As you can see right there, these are phantom-powered cardioid mics. And guess what? They only cost 150 bucks for a pair on Amazon. Cheap gear that works over and over again. What you're hearing is all budget gear. I mean, even look at my mixer board. It's 15 years old. And look at this microphone I'm using. It's a Shure PG58. This stuff costs nothing, guys. It doesn't cost anything. So you don't have to have all this fancy gear up front for a great live stream. I know you see the multiple camera angles. Um, uh, <clears throat> In, in here, uh, <laughs> but that's a, something else. But just start with one. <clears throat> yes, CC. I know um, the link is probably not a showing where you're viewing from. Um, maybe if you're watching in Switcher Studio Enthusiast group page, I tagged it. If you go to my main page, just click on my profile name. It'll take me take you to my page where I have the link in my description on my wall. So um, I hope you find that there. Um, okay, any more questions and comments are welcomed. I, I love troubleshooting on the spot with you guys, so let me know if you have any more questions. Okay, we're going to listen to the Yamaha C7 on cheap budget mics. <laughs>
Okay, so that was an audio demonstration. I'm going to listen to this on my iPhone to see how it sounds. <laughs> okay, I'm a little behind. What I'm doing is I'm checking my audio <clears throat> on the Facebook app so I could hear. So I just heard the piano and it sounded great. So a quick little tip, guys. You could use your older device to check your live stream audio like I'm doing right now. Facebook has a 20 second delay. So within that delay, you could play and then listen. And then you could adjust on, uh, on the fly. <laughs> Basically, you're looking at my mixer board. And here's channel one and two are the piano mics. Channel three is the microphone I'm talking into. And so you could see, I'll play a little bit. Take notice right here, I was hovering at zero dB. That should be your um, goal, is to get your average volume level at zero dB for live streaming. That will uh, show you, you don't really have to uh, do much. Um, your audio will not distort. In certain cases, uh, it may be different. But that's what I, um, what I wanted to explain to you there is keeping your levels hovering at the zero dB, which is your ideal um, live stream audio range. Uh, we got a couple questions and comments. Um, Freddie, what's your suggestion on adjusting the gains on a mic? I'm using Switcher, and I have the gains on the vocal mic almost the, all the way down, but when they scream or get loud, it distorts. Freddie Lee the second. that's a great question because I've experienced that with my piano. You see, when I play a high note like this, I'm almost distorting. And this is a big problem because a lot of budget gear or older gear like this does not have <laughs> a compressor or a limiter built in. So there's no uh, protection or or limiting wall so your audio will not distort. I've found the solution. The only solution to this really, uh, Freddy, is that um, <laughs> I've had to just not stream at louder levels. I know it's hard because when you're, when people are tuning in, they're having to jack their volume on the TV to like 40, right, to, to even get a good listening volume. So there's a problem there. And what I've done is um, I've used a hardware limiter. I specifically use the Ashley compressor limiter. It's a two channel um, device. And I just ran the thing to out from my mixer board, the main outs into the compressor and limiter. And then uh, I hooked it up uh, with a small adapter uh, via USB. So there are ways, Freddie. Um, keep note that in February, a Behringer is launching its new mixer board series, which has a digital, um, well, it has an app that you connect to it via Wi-Fi, and it has a built-in limiter. So I got that. I'm waiting for it to come in. It hasn't gotten out yet. But there's ways, okay? Um, there's many ways um, to do that. If you're using a an audio interface. You could use plugins while going live. I've done that with my Apollo. Uh, uh, Freddie, if you check out uh, my um, video tutorial, my free video tutorial, when you sign up to my uh, email with Livestream Revolution, I actually show you the settings I'm using on my Apollo Twin to actually get that, uh, that uh, brick wall limiter to work to where I don't have to worry about um, distortion. That's one way I did it, was using my audio interface. And also, the second way was using a hardware compressor or limiter to do that. Now, it gets tricky because you have to figure out, well, after the, the limiter has the audio, how do I get it in my live stream? Well, it's actually simple. There's certain adapters I use. There, um, it just all depends. I don't have a picture of it, but here's one way. I'm going to show you a little video on how I'm getting audio directly out from my Apollo Twin into my uh, smartphone. So use this way. 
um, I'll explain to you while you're seeing it. So this is the Apollo Twin, and um, it has the monitor left and right out, and I'm going to be using this cable, quarter inch to RCA, whatever type of cable you could get. Either take it out from the line out or the monitor out. See? That's where your monitor speakers would normally go, but that output audio is going into a Behringer U-Control UCA202 interface. It's about a $35, $40 interface. There it is right there. I'm plugging it into the input, which I will do just now. <laughs> oh, these videos are funny. Okay, once I do that, see now the other end of the wire on connected to the Behringer is USB. Now you could just simply connect it to your iPhone or smartphone using the corresponding adapter, which I will show you momentarily. It's the three-in-one adapter. So all you gotta do is just put it in the USB just like that. And now you got great audio directly from your audio interface into your smartphone. And that right there, Freddie, is how you could get that hardware limiter by using a plug-in with the Apollo and you're set to go. And that's it. So that adapter right there was a lightning. So if you're using an iPhone 10 and below, it's the lightning port. So this this uh, adapter allows you to get USB audio, um, Ethernet, and charge your device at the same time. And that's it, Freddie. I, I hope I answered your question. I know it's difficult, but um, if you uh, join, if you get the, the little free tutorial video I made, I have an automated email series where it takes you through a couple of Q and A's, and then in my full course. Um, I actually show you <laughs> how I hooked up that limiter. So, you know what? I'd love to do that, Freddie, live. I'm going to try to get my hands on that new Behringer mixer and then do, uh, do some live streams with it and show you how I dialed it in. But I hope that helps, Freddie. This is, was one of my main problems for a long time. Um, try it out and let, let's keep in touch. You, uh, you uh, send, me a, send me a message when you figured it out. I'd love to hear your setup. Okay. Um, uh, yes, uh, Shauna, I will share the, the adapter link, um, in the comments after this live stream, uh, these adapters you could find specifically the three in one adapter was a Belkin. There's a lot of Chinese, um, copycat div adapters. And I found that the Belkin one will not break yet. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of them out there that, that just break down after a month or two. So I'll, I hope to, I will try to f do my best, um, uh, Shauna, to give you the direct link. Okay, so um, yes, Robin, what's up? Robin Spielberg, another wonderful world-class whisperings artist. Uh, tune in on the live stream. Um, what camera are you using? Okay, Robin, I'm using the Switcher Studio app, which allows me to connect iOS devices to my iPhone or iPad to do multi-cam live streaming. This, what you're seeing, is an iPhone X on this angle. This, Robin, is an iPod 6. They don't even make these anymore, but they look really good. And now, for this shot, I'm using an iPhone 10. Okay. So basically, if you're an iPhone user, I'm sure you got three iPhones laying around from all your previous generation phones or maybe an iPad. By the way, you could run this whole setup even on an iPod or an iPhone. You don't need an iPad. That's the great thing about Switcher Studio. It's very compatible. Okay, so um, I hope I answered uh, all your, um, your questions. Oh, Freddie, sorry, you said you're getting sound from an AUGS channel. Yes, I was. Um, you could also get uh, audio out from these AUGS channels as well. I forgot to go over that with you, but that's good. Um, great. Um, oh, thanks. Thanks, Robin. Yeah, so um, really, realistically, live streaming with the video angles, look, I mean, <laughs> this is an iPod 6. <laughs> it's like a $100 device. You know, so it shows, like, I could even zoom up on it. I mean, how, how crazy could it get? You know, Robin, with these devices, 
if it's a cheap device like an iPod 6, my rule of thumb, always move the cheapest video device closest to you because it works best closer and with more light. As you could see, I have a soft box right above me, a smaller light above for my hair light, so I'm using a lot of light in this corner and with some colored light. So that's the reason why it may look a little bit better. What you're seeing now is on the iPod 6. This is the iPhone X. There is a probably a lot better difference, but you know what? It doesn't really matter so much which how much resolution. It's about getting it good enough. But your engagement means so much more during a live stream. So that takes me to this point where um, if you sign up for the tutorial video, not will you just get the tutorial video, but I made a whole PDF on the order of which I go live and what things I say to engage my audience. That comes along as a free PDF when you sign up to a live stream revolution. So um, I hope that helps, Robin, and I hope that helps all of you. <laughs> it's such a passion. I find such joy doing this for all of you. So if you have any more questions or comments, put them in, this, in the description. Um, I will answer them even while I'm not going live. I care about your concerns and your troubleshooting. So let's keep in touch. Um, click the link below in this description or above to get your free tutorial video. I want you to have it. And till next time, you guys. Um, Danny, thank you so much. All you wonderful friends <laughs> posting the link. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it didn't show up or Facebook took it out. But see, you, I've gained a wonderful base of friends and family here to help. This is what the power of live streaming could do. We're not, we're musicians, we're not able to gig right now. Let's do this, let's engage. I'm here to help you with that, uh, with your live streaming audio. And let's keep getting connected. All right, you guys. Well, for my, my wonderful fans and friends who are wanting me... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> to do a live stream. I know you're like, oh, Michael's doing another technology live stream. He'll never play his music again on Facebook. Okay, well, how about this? I mean, let's set up, um, maybe Sunday I'll go live, play some cool music. So, um, yeah. Okay, I better stop talking, you guys. I am... Uh... <laughs> yes, Robin. I'd love to help you out with your audio. It's a uh, it's a passion of mine. Yep, just uh, <laughs> I'll teleport. <laughs> yeah, I I'd love to travel and and just just do this. I mean, I've been I've been doing my live streaming, helping a a wonderful Buddhist teacher in my area, a couple minutes away from where I live. His name is Rinpoche, and he's been live streaming with Switcher Studio, and I I had him. Uh, buy a cool little iPad Pro with using three iPhones. He has a wonderful stream, and it helps so much when you could empower people with the gear they already have, like your three iPhones that are just laying and collecting dust, <laughs> and your 15-year-old mixer board, and, and, your, and your cheap MXL mics. This didn't take anything. So I, it's just like, I couldn't hold this information back. <laughs> it was just too good to be true. How could I hoard some wonderful information that could help you? You know, this should be known to everybody because nowadays you could get misled and you could get price gouged and you could you could spend money on so much stuff. It's insane. But I'm here to help you and I want you uh to um to grab my free video tutorial that I made just for you, to, which explains this audio setup. All right, not the video, but the audio setup, what adapters I use, what plugins I'm using in my audio interface to get this. So um, I'd love to connect with you. So sign up, click the link above or below or in the comments, wherever they are. <laughs> Let's get connected. I want to send you valuable information. I'm in this for life. I'm passionate about it. Let's help you with your live stream. I'm Michael Martinez with the Live Stream Revolution, and I'll see you next time, hopefully soon, guys. You have a wonderful day.